Sometimes your rose bush uh, may succumb to having a much more vigorous rootstock than top growth. And so if that happens, um, you'll end up with something like this. This is a very uh, wild type rose. This is called a multiflora rose, and they use it a lot in rootstocks um, for the really pretty cultivars of roses. And um, I want to rework this rose so that it has different colors of roses on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it back so that it just has like one or two main canes that I really want to hold on to and favor. And I'm just going to get rid of the rest. Don't mind the weeds. Okay. Here, we'll cut this one off. And we'll take this one. And there's something nice and vigorous on this other side over here too. So maybe it looks like I can get... Um, two pretty darn good rose bushes out of this one um, big giant root sucker pile here. Okay, so I've gotten this down to um, just a couple of main canes here. Um, this one has a nice Y here and a split. This one has a nice Y there and a split. And then I'm just going to cut this down a little bit lower so that I don't really have much of this top growth on there. Uh, and then I'm going to utilize those spaces that I've just created here um, to add my buds onto. The rose that I've selected to graft onto this is called Neptune. It is this beautiful bluish uh, purple rose. Um, there isn't a true blue rose. They keep trying to engineer one, but roses just can't seem to make the color blue. First thing I want to do is I just want to take off, um, you know, any of the leaf tissue there. And um, I have a different plant that we're actually going to do this on. This is the rose that I will abscond with for later. Um, and so here is what our plant looks like and we're looking for these nodes when we're when we're doing this um, kind of grafting we want to make sure that we leave some of that leaf petiole so we have a little handle that we can um, hold on to whenever we're trying to do this so we're going to kind of clip those leaves off and now I have four nodes here that I can utilize Move those out of the way um, I prefer to pick off all of the thorns whenever I'm doing this just because it's easier on you later so that you're not stabbing yourself. Um, some people can work around it. That's your preference. But if you just kind of pick them to the side, they'll pop off pretty easily. There we go. Get all those off of there. So then I have a nice like thornless stem to work with and I can kind of maneuver it however I need to. So for this, we're gonna do just chip budding. So we're just gonna take a chunk of the uh, stem tissue off with this particular little node. The node is the part that we really want. And we're gonna insert it into our root stock um, in about the same width. I'm gonna take my grafting knife here and a lot of times I like to make a little line at the top so I know where my goal is of where I want to go to. And then I just start underneath and just kind of peel up so that you get underneath that node and it'll stop whenever you get to the top. Now I've got this piece like this and um, it's people have different preferences for whether or not they want to leave this woody piece in there. Um, a lot of people will pick it out. I don't seem to mind the woody piece too much. Um, the other nice thing about having this handle here is that it helps you remember which direction is up. Oh, actually, you know what? That woody piece just came out so nicely. Look at that. So we're going to take that little node there, and we're just going to slide it onto our stem in a spot that's about the same distance. So I'm going to line it up and measure it and cut. And then I'm going to peel off that section on my stem that's going to match that. And then I'm going to hold it in place. Trying to match that cambium as much as possible. And this is one that I do like to wrap with both parafilm and rubber band. So let's go get those items. Okay, back with parafilm and a rubber band. So here we go. We're going to wrap this entire little chip 
when we put it on there. Uh, you'll notice that this is growing towards the inside of where my bush would be if I'm going to keep it here. Um, after this heals in, I'm going to dig up this bush and put it somewhere else so I don't really have to worry about that quite as much. Oh, I didn't warm it up enough. See, if you don't warm it up enough, it just kind of gets brittle and cracks like that. So let's get another piece. Another piece off of my roll here. Wiggling it back and forth a little bit so that you can get that corner off. And then we can peel that and we'll warm it with our hands. And I'm going to stick this chip on here. That. Line up that cambium really nicely on the top and bottom. And we're going to wrap the whole thing. Make sure you're really wrapping that bud good, too, because you really don't want it to dry out, especially if your rose bush is in full sun. And field grafting these is pretty common to just graft them in place on a rootstock. The people who do this commercially can do it really fast, and it's super impressive to watch. Okay, so there we go. As this grows, it'll expand and it'll just kick that. Um. Now, when we wrap this rubber band, we want to make sure that we're not wrapping that little particular meristem that we just put on there, right? So we want to wrap below it and we want to wrap above it, but we want to make sure that it doesn't get damaged trying to come out. So uh, that's another reason that little handle is good is because it gives you kind of a sense of where that might be. That one is done. Okay, now let's try another one. When we lived in Sebastopol, most of the people that lived around us. Okay, so here we go. Under and over. And peel up that node. There we go. Okay, so now I've got another chip here. This one has quite a bit more tissue of that woody tissue on the inside. If we want, we can pry that out. There we go. Just get a little of that woody stuff out of there. There we go. Okay. Nice little chip. Set it aside. Oh, actually, we want to use that to measure, right? We want to use that to measure the distance um, that we're going to go on our stem here. So let's go here. And we're going to go down to here. Some people will make a little pocket when they're doing this. I am... This isn't really my forte for grafting so um, you know I would recommend just trying it and seeing how you like to do it and what works for you and then go from there because everybody does this a little bit differently and there's a lot of right ways to do it and you'll find that you know sometimes you try really hard and it doesn't work and that's okay the important thing is that you try This pair of film I've had for a long time too, and I accidentally let it sit in the back of my car uh, when I was over at Davis, and it got a little melty. So sometimes it sticks a little bit more than others to itself because it just got a little gooey. Lesson learned. Come on, you. You know you want to. Oh, there we go. All right. Haha. -ha. Okay, so now we're peeling our parafilm off. I'm going to fold that in half. Warm it up a little bit. Stretch it out. Oop. That one broke, but I think it broke into two nice solid pieces that I can probably use both of. So, okay. Then we want to check to make sure that our chip is going in the right direction. And then line it up with our stem. The diameters on these are a little bit off, so we'll just make sure that it's lined up really good with one side of the other. There we go. And now we'll take this other piece here and finish the job. 
and wrap up over the top. Now we're nice and protected. Okay, and we're going to take our grafting rubber band and we're going to go below and above. This is how a lot of roses that you buy commercially are propagated because, well, they're patented for one thing, so you should not be doing this um, for sale of any cultivars that um, are known patented cultivars. I do believe Neptune might be one of those, but I'm not going to make money off of this, so I think it's probably okay. I'm just doing it as a demonstration for education. Um, so there we go. Wrapped and done. Chip bud on a rose.